For the next 14 hours, we're sleeping on an overnight train from Bangkok to Chiang Mai, Thailand. Over the course of our travel, there will be a rather interesting train tour. This is my bunk. It is very narrow. Scenic mountain views, and a detailed description of what to expect if you want to book this trip. We'll be sharing everything that you need to know about this experience in case you are hoping to take the sleeper train from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. I liked it when there was less people. We bought tickets for a second class car with AC through a website called one to go This is a very, very popular website for booking any sort of trains, buses throughout Southeast Asia. one to go however, is kind of like a middleman company, so you'll purchase them online and then pick them up from their office. You can also book directly through the station, but I thought one to go was just pretty easy. We actually got a refund because one of our berths was cheaper than what I booked it for. So when you get here, you get to the station, then you need to go down. We were kind of wandering around for a little bit, and then you'll see the office like in the food court area, but it was super easy. Sarah and I have a bet on if I lose my lens cap. There have been a few close calls. Not today. Our train leaves in about an hour, and they tell you to get here half an hour early to get in line, so we got here two hours early to get some food. And there are a lot of stands just all over the place. I got like this crispy pork and rice, and I don't know what this is. I've had it before. It's basically just Hawaiian rolls with sugar on the top of it, and it's absolutely delicious. Also got some snacks and some waters for the train. The hope is that this will be a smooth ride because if not, we are stuck for 14 hours. This is why they tell you get here half an hour early, I guess. Tight squeeze. It's like being on a ship. Only if you would get that Navy folks. Shipping. <laughs> What's with your knees, not with your back. Budget travel. This is uh, a lot nicer than I was expecting, to be honest. It is pretty narrow. I'm not sure where everyone's at. Where's the party at? I thought there'd be more people here. And we leave in like 15 minutes. Private train. We got these great curtains. Not sure yet if there's outlets. I have not seen any. I don't think there's outlets, but are. Oh, there's an outlet here. It's on the outside. So I guess you just have to fight over it. We got a pillow, blankie. you can pay less money for a car without air conditioning. I am not quite at that budget traveler level, so I opted for the air conditioning. Wanna do your bathroom tour since it's empty? Yeah, let's go to the bathroom. Bathroom tour. Oh, we got some sinks. Hey, super quick. So we got asked this question a few times on Instagram and we wanted to address it. Yes, it is quicker and probably a little bit cheaper to fly directly to Chiang Mai, but we're a travel channel. We want to experience things and sometimes even push our comfort zone. Chances are, if you're subscribed to our channel, you feel the same way. So yes, we could have flown, but we wouldn't have had this experience of going on this overnight train for the very first time. And it was quite the experience. Plus think of it as a backpacker's rite of passage. Anyway, back to the video. Follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. So our two tickets cost $73.
which is a bargain when you think about the 13 hour train ride that we took like two or three years ago to Boston and it was not $73. This is the longest train ride we've ever taken together. 13 hours in the Northeast Regional Amtrak route. And we didn't have a bed. Let's talk about what would be helpful to bring on this kind of journey. Number one, earplugs, for sure. It's loud. I would recommend bringing like warm clothes, joggers, socks. I brought a sweatshirt. Entertainment, there is no Wi-Fi, so make sure you download shows or movies or whatever you wanna watch. Definitely bring a portable charger because like we showed you, there are like a few outlets, but they're in kind of weird spots. Snacks, set aside a change of clothes for the morning. That way you're not in like your full sweatshirt and pants in daytime Thailand when it would get really hot. Maybe pull out some select toiletries as well so that you can like brush your teeth or take your contacts out. I'm gonna put on some pimple patches here in a second. So just like set some stuff aside for you to have so you're not digging through your whole bag. This train doesn't have a dining car or anything but you can walk through all the different trains and it's kind of scary because some of the doors are open and you can literally just hang out. I would advise against it, but you can see right outside. Speaking of entertainment, this was my film of choice. One of my favorites. Leave a comment if you know it. Initial impressions? Um, I liked it when there was less people. <laughs> but fine, 30 bucks. I have no complaints for now. Ask me again in the morning. This is my bunk. It is very narrow. I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna fall off. Yo, I just discovered something and my mind is blown. I also feel like the biggest idiot. So I've been sleeping here with all of my stuff, my backpacks and my snacks just right next to me. And didn't realize that the seats can change into stands. I could have been putting my luggage up here the whole time. Three o'clock in the morning and I have to use the bathroom. Oh my God. I'm a guy, so. I can kind of just stand up and do my business and with the train moving all over the place it's probably still going to go every which way. It's about 6.20 in the morning. I don't look fresh. I don't feel fresh. I don't smell fresh. So I woke up at like 3 and did a little bit of editing and then went back to sleep. Honestly, the train just rocking back and forth, just... I loved that. Yeah. <laughs> she was knocked out. Like she was knocked out, no. I did earplugs, noise canceling headphones, white noise coming through the headphones. That was like... And a mask. And a mask. Necessary. They don't turn the lights off, so you gotta have a mask. <laughs> yeah, I need to use it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find my mask, so I used a mall cover mask as my amateur. We didn't get to see much at night, but the views in the morning made this whole trip worth it. And honestly, I just find the train rocking to be so relaxing.
Turns out they do switch the beds back to seats in the morning, just in time for us to sit and watch the view while we freshened up. Sleeping on a second class train like this was never going to be glamorous, but we really enjoyed it. So when people ask us why we take the train when flying is quicker, well, this is why. See, to us, travel is all about building new experiences outside your norm. So yeah, flying is convenient and easy, but how memorable is it? we can check into our hostel so we need to now grab a grab from the station to old city where we're staying as we order our grab as much as we've talked about grab versus tuk tuk a song tayu the red pickup truck you'll see pretty much everywhere might be the way to go more on that in a later video For now, we're gonna drop off our bags at our hostel and grab some breakfast. And for breakfast, it was a short walk to this cute coffee shop called Gravity. Gravity is a little more on the expensive side compared to the other coffee shops we'll later explore in the area, but it had a phenomenal selection of drinks. Our first breakfast in Chiang Mai was kept simple. Two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. But I also ordered what's called a dirty coffee. This is what $16 can get you in Chiang Mai. We've got a beautiful king size bed pretty spacious room and the best part which we did not have in bangkok is our own bathroom look at this so a few points after our train ride the train left the station at 8:05 p.m and arrived here in chiang mai at 8 40 a.m which is exactly when it was supposed to happen don't bank on that every time for our second class air conditioned cabin with a little bed and a curtain area. Um, it was $31 each. Mm -hmm. You can also book just seats, which yeah. I think those started from like seven to 20 ish dollars. I do think they also have like fan only cabins, but then there's also like first class. So lots of different price points, but it's also just like a fun experience. Like I, yeah, you can fly, but where else can you take a overnight sleeper train for 30 bucks? Just so you know, we're going to take a week off after this video, but don't worry. We have a ton of content from Chiang Mai in store. We just need to burn off some of this delicious Thai food and catch up on all of the editing. But Chiang Mai temples, night markets, wildlife, and waterfalls are all coming up soon. through your toss your bones you got these great curtains definitely book through one two go wait is this a different 